everyone and welcome back to Cotsplay. In this video I'm going to be showing you a broken down overview of Re.io. I have uploaded this video before but they've gone ahead and updated their UI so I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys a brand new updated video and we will have an updated written overview on our website which will be linked down below. If you're watching this on our website in the integrated video player then hit the YouTube icon in the video player to take you to our YouTube channel to check out the rest of our content. If you're watching this on the YouTube side of things our written overview is linked down below. But let's go ahead and begin today's video. So quickly before we go ahead and begin today's video please drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Let's begin on the settings page. On the settings page you're going to see the latest version that you're currently on. I'm on version 1.1.8 five and you can clearly see that it was last updated on september 10th 2020 you can hit this button to go ahead and check for an update as you guys can see my version's up to date below that you have settings information this is where you can go ahead and import and export setting information if you wish then you have your aycd auto solve your monster capture your webhook once you enter enter these two you can go ahead and hit the save button once you enter the webhook you can test it and then for delays you'll check out and monitor and retry and obviously you can go ahead and configure it with the sites so you have supreme foot size easy supply nike jd and finish line the default is over here but if you want to go ahead and specify something then you can change it if you wish to reset all this to default you can hit this button if you wish to update everything and save then you can hit this button over here so you have the capture harvest tab here i'm not going to cover that right now i'm going to cover that before we go ahead and end the video when we create a task but let's move over to the account section this is where you can go ahead and create account group lists that you can go ahead and use with your tasks so you can create it for nike nike us gift card nike gb gift card nike japan gift card nike us promotes nike japan promotes and nike gb promotes so i'm just gonna hit nike here hit the plus button i'm gonna call this group name video test and then the start is going to be nike hit submit and as you guys can see the group list has been made i can edit it and delete it and this number represents how many accounts are within that list so let's go ahead and add an account to this list what you can do is hit the add account button if you want to delete all the accounts you can hit this button if you want to edit all you can hit this button and once you add an account it will be segregated under these headers the number of accounts the email for the account the password status and actions so hit the add account button and the format is email call on password so if i type in for example john at gmail.com and then do test one two three john at gmail.com is going to be the email and test one two three is going to be the password so i'm going to hit the submit button and as you guys can see it has been added it shows the number of accounts the email password the status is blank because it's yet to do anything i can edit it if i wish and i can also delete it under the actions tab so let's move over to the proxy section and this is where you can once again go ahead and create proxy group lists put proxies into those lists and use them with your tasks so once again we're going to create a group list but for proxies this time we're going to call it video test proxies and hit the submit button that will go ahead and create the group list in that list you can put the number of the proxies the ip address port username password the speed and the actions you can test all your proxies stop all the proxies once you're testing them clean them edit all delete all and add a proxy so i have three proxies here that i'm going to enter into my proxy group list here i'm gonna hit the add proxies button put them in hit the submit button and as you guys can see my proxies are now within the list but i've yet to go ahead and test their speed the ip address is there the port is there the username is there and the password is there let's go ahead and test their speed so the actions that you can do with these proxies delete them from the list individually but let's go ahead and test them all so hit this button you can go ahead and select the store and the delay so i'm going to go ahead and hit the store here also do the delay then we can test them so when it for locker uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Nike GB. For delay limits, this is where you can go ahead and customize your delay. It recommends a thousand, as you guys can see, but I'm just going to put in a thousand like so. Hit the test proxies button, give it a moment. So, as you guys can see, the top two times out, but the bottom one came back with a successful speed of 667 milliseconds. So, as you guys can see, that's how the testing proxies section works. You can clean them as well. So, if I hit clean here, as you guys can see, the proxies that were timed out were cleaned out. But let's say I had like a thousand proxies in here and I tested them all and I didn't want to scroll through all of them and individually delete the ones that were bad. That clean button is going to become very useful for the proxies that are bad because you don't want to be using those with your tasks. But let's move over to the profile section. Once again, very similar layout to the proxies and accounts. You hit the create new button, you create a profile group name, I'm gonna call it video test profiles. 
and hit the submit button and then you go ahead and enter the profile so once again number of the profile the profile name email phone number card holder card number and the actions you can import profiles export profiles delete all your profiles and also create a profile so that is what i'm going to go ahead and do hit this button here we have the personal info delivery address billing address and payment info obviously this is just some very very standard information here i'm not going to go ahead and fill it all out i was going to show you each section but you have to fill out this section before you move on. You guys know what to enter here. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some test information here. And then I will go ahead and cut back when I'm about to finish creating this profile. So one thing to note when you're in the billing address section, if you want to go ahead and duplicate your delivery address details to billing address, you hit this button, it will go ahead and duplicate over. And now I'm just going to go ahead and finish off this section. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the submit button and that will go ahead and create my profile. As you guys can see, the profile name is there, the email is there, phone number, card holder, card number. You can duplicate it with this button you can delete it with this button and you can use the pen tool to go ahead and edit your profile as well so i'm going to go ahead and pass over the task page for now i'm going to return to it at the end of the video because i'm going to go ahead and create a task show you how that all works so i want to go ahead and end the video at that part but let's go ahead and move over to the dashboard page and this is going to show you a bit of the information regarding the bot as well as your license so it'll show you your license type which is a renewal my key expires in 45 days i can go to the dashboard to renew as you guys can see this is a calendar of the upcoming drops and at the time of recording this video it is the 7th of february 2021 so i can go ahead and hit through the variety of days here and it will show me the releases that are taking place when i click it it will go ahead and open it up on stockx or any type of marketplace but you guys can see that there is releases here so this is pretty useful so you can see what the prices are for these products and how much revenue you could get if you went for these releases then on the right side you can see your checkout analytics in the day week or year format i'm going to stick to year for this example you can see your checkouts obviously in the scale it's given you and then it shows your money spent and your total checkouts over here so the blue represents the total checkouts and the pink represents the money spent so you can select the individual size as well and uh, link that to the year week or day it's completely up to you but i'm just going to leave it on all sites for this example then for your checkout history you can search for it if you have a ton and then any type of checkout that comes through it'll be filtered under these headers which is the number of checkouts product store size profile date price and the action with that checkout now finally to conclude this video we're going to go ahead and cover the task page also cover the capture harvester as well and create a task within the bot so we go ahead and create a group list once again whether this is regular or restock you can go ahead and choose i'm going to go ahead and hit regular for this video you hit the regular button this is what is going to pop up you go ahead and button the task group name i want to call it video test tasks you hit the store so i'm just gonna go with nike gb for example actually i'm gonna go with supreme i'm gonna go with that for this example for timer i'm not gonna put a time on here it is based on your local computer time so make sure that is correct but hit the submit button once you're done and that is what the group's going to look like the timer is zero 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 because we haven't said anything you can delete it and you can edit it as well this shows uh, what type of task group it is whether it's a regular or restock and this shows the amount of tasks within that group now for your task analytics you can see all your tasks and it shows how many tasks there are what percent of them are ready what percent are carted and what percent of them are successful in checking out the product is going for for the task list you can start all of them stop all of them edit all delete all and create the task once you create a task it will be segregated under these headers the number of tasks the product mode profile size proxy status and the actions all attached to the individual task you go ahead and create so let's go ahead and actually create a task here so let's hit the create task button this is what it's going to look like the star has already been selected because we hit supreme on the task group list for category we can go ahead and select the category for a keyword you put a keyword in there profile group you select your profile group color obviously for your profiles this will go ahead and pull out the profiles in that group if you wish to use all the profiles you can hit that as well you can choose the size your proxy group whether you want to use a proxy group that we've created as well the mode quantity and copy number now keep in mind this task creation process will differ depending on the site you go ahead and click obviously if i were to click nike gb for example the category section wouldn't be there and these wouldn't be there because this is for supreme so keep that in mind if it does look different it's probably because you've gone ahead and selected a different task or you're looking at this at a later date where they've changed the way this looks so you can go ahead and enter these details and we'll go ahead and create a task i'm going to go ahead and put in some random details here so i can show you it actually being created but give me one moment just to go ahead and do that as you guys can see you hit the submit button and our task is created in the background i created a few just to go ahead and demonstrate a few things let me just delete these as you guys can see it shows the number of tasks 
the product mode, profile, size, proxy, and status, which is ready. It is ready to do anything we tell it to do. It's not doing anything at the moment. You can use the start button. It'll go and start it. It'll tell you to open capture first, which is what we're going to get to in a moment. You can duplicate the task. You can also delete the task and you can edit the task here as well. For the capture harvester section, I'm going to show you how this works. So I hit this button and this is what it's going to look like. You're going to see the capture harvesters, the name, the IP port, the star and the actions. So you can go ahead and put an account name. I'm going to call this video test capture and then you hit the store. So these harvesters are specific for a certain store that really are your support. So I'm gonna hit Supreme in this case because our task is for Supreme. You can put a proxy and you don't have to. Hit the add button and as you guys can see it appears there. You can turn it off and on. If you turn it on, obviously it's going to pop up like so. You can hit the Google button to log into the Google account. You can edit it with this button. You just go ahead and make the changes, hit the update button and you can delete it with this button. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. It's going to appear here. Let's X out of this. And as you guys can see, this is what your setup is roughly going to look like when you are running a task. You go ahead and run the task. It's going to go to the website. Obviously, it's not going to work because this information is just test information. I'm just showing you how this works. But this is what Re.io looks like in this current update. So that is going to go ahead and conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like, subscribe. If you guys are new, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace out.